from the login itself. So this is the uh, home based care solution system that we have uh, created for this uh, function. So uh, you will uh, receive, everyone will receive a username. Uh, it's a temporary uh, password will be sent out to you all after we, uh, after this uh, WaveNet team create your logins. So after that, within 24 hours, you have to click that link and create your own password, password for yourself. So this is how the, the main page would be. And once you log in here, you can as a call center agent, this is the view that you will get. So I will uh, first uh, just introduce this system to you, how it uh, look like. So you can see here, this, there is a dashboard. This is a, just a summary of, uh, actually I uh, not worked uh, as agent much. So my summary board is very low. And this is the uh, MOH patient count that we have received. Uh, 73,000 plus patients. Now we have deal with this system. So this is the main uh, dashboard that for yourself, you can uh, see here, there are awaiting patients. Currently, uh, there are two patients pending for me to call an action. And uh, other things are just, uh, the category what we have uh, done I, I will introduce those things in uh, future for from the next slide so there is a did not answer column and wrong contact column so wrong nic column is there so these four things will our uh, personal follow up so even after we put did not answer status it will be here when we uh, get free time we can try one more time to register those patients so this here, the third dashboard will show your uh, today counts, how many patients that you have uh, done. So it's basically the same thing. So this is active counts and this will be the uh, overall count. And uh, after that, you can see here, uh, this is the main uh, view tab for call center agents. So these MOH patients have two category like uh, MOH provide patient. So if you click this one, uh, from here, it is restricted only for team leaders. So after we are receiving the patients from, uh, to the, uh, from MOH side to the call center team, the team leader can uh, view from this page and uh, from here itself, they will, uh, allocating patients to call center agents for uh, to do their part okay so the next one is at patient info so here this is the uh, tab that you you will have to uh, deal with so as i said before in the home page you can see there are two awaiting patients for me so you can simply click here and go to that link or else you can uh, click here at patient info to view this uh, uh, pending patient's info. So there are uh, tabs that you can see here. You can uh, to search uh, by district and MOH area and patient name. You can just type the details and uh, click enter. Then you can filter out when you have uh, more uh, patients on, the, on, your, on your list. So patient NIC is there, patient phone number is there. So here you can see this is the uh, agent field only uh, these are these three will be visible for agent side. So pending call for patient is uh, you have to make a call uh, to complete your task. So patient did not answer means uh, I will uh, update you how it's work. So uh, let's check. Yes, I have. Uh, I don't have any uh, patient details like uh, with the remark with patient did not answer and uh, wrong patient NIC also we can correct it I will explain those things in future now uh, after that you can uh, select by date actually now we uh, we are not dealing with a, a backlog actually we are clearing from yesterday part so when there is a backlog we will fill up with more patients so then you can uh, select this date and uh, view this forum so you can uh, simply finish uh, the previous uh, patients that we have received uh, to our uh, interface system. 
so this is uh, this created by the sense this is the moh doctor who have uh, initially put this entry to this system so uh, under this view under at patient view the created by detail means it is the moh uh, officer so in case if you wanted to contact that moh officer regarding this patient for to get any information or to complain or anything and might be they have uh, added wrong information so we cannot proceed with wrong info uh, to allocate uh, those patients with doctors so in that case we have to contact them so so you can find the name here so this is the moh officer who is initially entered this patient to the system and uh, here uh, you can view uh, in in the view you can uh, see the patient's uh, patient details few uh, things are already updated by that by that uh, moh officer so this is just to view purposes so after registering you can uh, you can filter this uh, not set thing are not filled by the moh officer but other things are there like uh, pcr test and uh, covid positive the test date taken so those things they have already filled that the age is there so these are the things a uh, few things are mandatory so if it is not filled by moh officer we have to fill that so this is only for uh, viewing purposes and uh, this is the two links that we are going to work with like as a call center agent if you click patient you can you can uh, register this patient and uh, for status there are a few status available uh, to mark as unsuccessful uh, patient i will uh, show that later so let's finish this uh, tab uh, thing first so after that you can see here the manage case info so the manage case info means uh, after creating the patient uh, the system will give them a case reference number so this is a case reference this is not the patient uh, reference detail actually uh, this is to identify uh, that when was this patient created so in this uh, system not only you the all the agents who have created the details are here so this is not uh, uh, mandatory to check uh, these details and all this is also only for our viewing option and uh, under this uh, this tab manage patient tab this is the home care patient uh, tab like after we registering patients they will uh, move to uh, this tab so this is the uh, successful patient that we have created and allocated for a doctor so here you can see after patient coming into the system the call center agent have contacted them and got their details and registered them and there is a patient reference number created as i show here the patient reference number is there and the district moh officer the name identity number contact number so the everything is there and here you can see the doctor's name this patient allocated to uh, dr ayodhya here so this contact number is belongs to that doctor so doctor's phone is here so this is the uh, final part after we creating the patient it will move to this uh, this level to this page and after that uh, this is the uh, this is one of the uh, main information field that uh, doctor duty and manager duty doctor duty is there here you can find uh, those who are working today as rostered so actually for call center agent uh, the selecting date is restricted but they can see uh, who is uh, working for today so here you can see you can if you want to select the district uh, you can select the district here so it will be filtered out so as of now colombo kalutra and uh, gampaha has been uh, given restricted others uh, other doctors all are handling by pre interns uh, for the entire uh, provinces except uh, western province so if you select here colombo you can see only the colombo uh, doctors list will be appeared here and uh, the category wise there are categories given like doctors pre intern registrars and specialist doctors 
so especially doctors in the sense consultants their name is there and contact number and here uh, the first on call second on call third on call in the sense they have uh, uh, differentiate uh, uh, their duty uh, for district wise so those information you will get after you starting this call center part they will share it means the first on call in the sense uh, they are they are dealing with colombo and uh, gampa district so that in that way they have uh, differentiate uh, the di districts level for the second on call handling different districts so the third one is for all other countries like all other districts so it depends uh, on the roster and uh, so same as that the registrar's details are given here the doctor's details are given here so you can find whether these doctors are uh, on duty today so you can uh, check whether the do those doctors are on leave by clicking here like here i have uh, filtered on leave category so this doctor uh, is working uh, roster to work today but uh, that doctor is on leave for this day so that's how this is this also for our information uh, thing you can find whether that doctor is uh, working or not and you can get the contact number of them anytime for the current uh, available doctors so after the after we are finishing this training you can uh, see here in the documents uh, there is a on call roster on call roster means uh, as I mentioned, uh, the district level, uh, they have uh, differentiated the registrars and the consultant details, as you see here. So those the information will be here. And uh, this is added recently. And uh, this is a user manual. You can uh, go here and check after we finishing this uh, training thing. You can read uh, for additional information uh, given here how uh, the system uh will work okay so this is the just uh, to introduce the system and we'll uh, move for now uh, how to uh, registering patients so do you have any questions uh, for up to now if you have any questions you may interrupt me it's fine so uh, so before registering patients, I will uh, give few informations. Uh, if you uh, can better uh, write it down, like these are the things that we have to uh, uh, filter here. Actually, only the successful patients and successful registration means uh, it will be have the all information correct. And those patients are capable or else uh, uh, capable for uh, to get this home care system assistance like uh, i will explain uh, one by one here you can see there is a status uh, called uh, state status in the sense these are the information that we are going to filter uh, for unsuccessful uh, registration like so the first thing here we have it's uh, already at isolation center so this means uh, moh entered this patient uh, to this system but when call center agent call them, those patients already uh, allocated uh, or taken uh, to the isolation center. So for those patients, this home care based system is uh, not applicable. So in that case, we can't allocate a doctor for this patient. So in that case, we what we are doing is we will update this status already at isolation center status. And uh, for information you have to give uh, actually isolation center means for which area or which camp or which hospital that sorry not hospital uh, for the the camping area better to mention those details here so you can mention the date they have taken and the place and after that you entering those details here uh, you can just click at status then once you click that this patient the number one patient i have selected the first one this row will be uh, cleared from your queue you can't see it uh, after that okay so before uh, adding those status you need to more careful uh, whether you are giving the 
after you giving the wrong information and served it, you cannot take this back. So we have to go uh, with the long process to amend those error, errors. Okay. So second one is already hospitalized. So this is the same scenario when we uh, call this patient that uh, patient already hospitalized. So in that case, uh, they are that those patients will getting their clinical advisors and there are doctors to help them. So these patients are also not uh, uh, eligible uh, for this uh, home care system. So we are not allocating those patients as well. So for hospitalized, uh, details you can add info here uh, the date and the place or oh, sometimes uh, there are few hotels now uh, taking this part so you also add those hotel details here those oh, those who are uh, allocated I, I think uh, cinnamon and all they have given a space uh, for this hospitalization care center thing so those kind of details you can uh, detail it here and the third one is duplicate record. So this is the uh, error made by MOH officers. Sometimes what they do is, uh, since they are dealing with more uh, lot of patients, when they uh, do the entries, they will do double entries sometimes. Uh, like for same patient, uh, they will add uh, with initial, uh, let's say uh, patient's name and Fernando, then what they do is, uh, uh, one entry will come as a dot fernando and uh, the second entry will come with full full name so in that case you can find uh, when we uh, call that patient you got to know uh, that, uh, that that patient already uh, registered with this home care uh, platform so you no need to uh, register register them again so in that case uh, you have to mention the previous uh, patient case info number here the patient reference number here so as i told before when to find duplicate record thing you can go uh, here in the home care patient let's say uh, just to show an example let's say uh, this patient is already registered and you can uh, in here uh, when this uh, patient registered with uh, someone uh, in some uh, doctors before then what we have to do is you can update the status but uh, when we creating this patient thing patient registration uh, when we enter the same nic number which is uh, given to us uh, and registered in previous in this page uh, like Let's say I'm going to uh, register this patient. When I enter this, uh, sorry, then IC numbers cannot be amended. Okay, uh, so when we are uh, trying to input the same details again, the NIC number or the contact number, uh, the system will show a uh, message like these numbers are already taken. So in that case, what we can do is we have to uh, clarify with that uh, NIC details, the contact number details under these uh, home care, uh, home care registered with doctor's page. You have to identify the details with the uh, details given. So I'm here searching for this patient. So if, uh, if I have a previous patient details with the same contact number or identity number with the same one, when you paste it here and click enter, you can, it will be filtered and show, show to you. Uh, so after that, let's say I'm, I got a patient uh, with this NIC number. So I'm come here and search for it, whether this patient already registered. So yes, under this uh patient nic and contact number there are three patients so i think this is a uh, small child who are not having the uh, different nic accompanied with uh, their parents so so in that case you have to find out let's say this is the nic number is a duplicate one here you have the patient reference number of this patient so you have to copy this 
and uh, update it here when you update the status as duplicate for this patient you have to paste that uh, patient reference thing in this field so then the MOH officer and the system uh, handlers who who will uh, check those details they they have they will have a record that this patient uh, marked as duplicate due to this uh, reference number and this patient is already registered with that doctor so for that purpose only we will we are having uh, this field so the other one is uh, patient did not answer so patient did not answer in the sense normally the call center agent will try uh, at the same time uh, we have to ring them twice so if they are not answering we will update the status and you can uh, mention any details like sometimes uh, the phone uh, has been switched off while you are trying so for those details also we use same tab patient did not answer but you have to mention uh, that phone is switched off or not in coverage area those kind of things you can uh, have a note here because we this would be our follow-up for uh, for next uh, 14 days until that uh, this uh, patient in our follow-up so let's say if i put this patient did not answer here the status it will be not moved from from your queue it will be shows under the patient did not answer column here if i put it uh, it will be with me for another 14 days until i finish this task so you can go and see the comment uh, the previous comment what you have updated for uh, then you you can see uh, if it is if it is phone switch off in the morning sometimes they will answer by evening or next day so for that follow up only those uh, status uh, has been given okay so that is patient did not answer and uh, the wrong contact number this wrong contact number in the sense when you uh, when the moh officer uh, feeding details here they will sometimes uh, enter the contact number erroneously or else they will put uh, any other patient's contact number for this patient so in that case you have to update this wrong contact number status and better you mention the name that you have spoken to uh, let's say if you call the patient and that patient saying that I'm not, I'm not the patient you are talking, but uh, I have uh, positive, positive uh, patients on uh, at my cell, my house. Can't you register? So, in that case, you better to tell them that uh, we will call you back and uh, with the necessary details. Uh, but for now, we will, uh, we are searching for this patient who is uh, received to the system will check and call back. So in the same time as an advanced thing, you can go and check for those patients if they if they are saying the they also having a positive patients but uh, not registered with home care, then you can get their NIC number details and you can search for it in the home page. I'll uh, show that also. In the home page, you can see uh, there is a find patient icon here so if you click here you can uh, put in nic details here uh, and the contact number and the reference number if they have like reference number in sin, this is the uh, actually for inbound call handlers who are doing this so sometimes patients give the reference number so for this example it, this contact number you can search and the I, I, nic number uh, you can search so if you give a nic number here and uh, find if you click find existing patient it will shows like here uh, this patient is already registered and having a details so in that case you can if you click view patient you can go to that page so that's how uh, we have to work but uh, that is a difference uh, different uh, patient that patient is a uh, bucket under any other agent so if you finalize those patient from your end, that uh, pending that uh, patient will be removed from that agent uh, who is the different agent who is ha having uh, on their queue also will be removed. It will be uh, without any notification that, that queue will be reduced if you handled uh, for other agents patient.
so the next one is uh, so wrong patient in nic so this one when you talk to patient uh, we have to clarify with the nic number because we have experience with uh, MOH officers have entered incorrect NICs, sometimes duplicate NICs uh, not belongs to uh, that patient. So in that case, you can amend the patient NIC details. So you can see here, uh, when I click other options, other status option, this uh, patient NIC field is uh, cannot be, uh, you, you cannot enter any uh, details here. So it's uh, the color also was got changed. Uh, but when you select this one, the wrong patient NIC, this is, this is enable to uh, enable to you to enter the correct patient NIC here. So what if you uh, do this thing uh, when you select pa wrong patient NIC and here you have to mention the old NIC number which was given by uh, the MOCH officer. So in that case, you can see here uh, behind this tab, uh, on the first one, you have 195869, uh, there is a NIC number. So this is the number you have to copy and paste it here. Uh, and as per the patient, you have to get the NIC number. The new NIC number has to be updated here. And once you add, click uh, add status here, this, uh, the, the first, uh, the initial NIC number visible, uh, which was uh, viewed in the previous session, like uh, in, the, in the behind screen, that will be changed. So if I put here, let's say I, if I put uh, 000 and add status here, so this NIC number, all uh, this number will be changed automatically after you enter those uh, correct, uh, correct NIC on that field. So that's why we are mentioning that uh, the previous reference number, which was given by the MOH officer, should be updated in the info. So for future clarification, we can have that thing. So next is, uh, uh, before uh, go to this one, the COVID test done 14 days before. So this status uh, was because uh, since we, are, we have a deal with backlog and all, a uh, few MOHs uh, couldn't get a chance to uh, field uh, their entries to the system and they also have updating sometimes uh, they are updating uh, the patients who have done the PCR test uh, more than 14 days uh, for now. So actually uh, this home care based system is uh, designed only for uh, doctors to uh, give their opinion or clinical advices between these 14 days only. So therefore if PCR test taken before more than 14 days, uh, they are not eligible for this home care system. Okay, so sometimes when we, if we are registering these patients to doctors, when doctors call them, actually they are not isolated uh, at home. Uh, after finishing these 14 days, they are going out and uh, they, they can go to work and also there's no point in assigning these patients to doctors. So in that case, what we have to do is we have to select this uh, status COVID test done 14 days before that status. And uh, please mention the date that they have taken the PCR under this call info and uh, serve status. So that queue uh, that also will remove from your queue. And anything uh, not related to these uh, details in the functions we have given here, you can select this one, the COVID positive test not conducted. This is the actual uh, reason. Uh, sometimes uh, MOH, MOH officers erroneously adding these uh, uh, when, they, when they are uh, second or third contact, they, they, have, they are requested to uh, be isolated for 14 days, but they are not take, taken any PCR test, PCR or antigen test. So in, in that case, uh, we have we, we cannot allocate those patients also uh, for these doctors. So in that case, we have to select this status. And, uh, and also, if there are any, uh, if there are no any other uh, details selected here, uh, let's say uh, different cases like uh, MOH, 
doctor added below two years uh, infants or else more than 65 years old uh, patients here so those patients also we cannot uh, allocate to uh, doctors so in that case if any details missing here any status that you uh, dif not differentiated here you can select this one uh, covid positive test not take conducted under this you can give you actual scenario so why you are rejecting this uh, patient and one more scenario is let's say uh, patient uh, have given a contact number when they uh, uh, when they take in the pcr one of the relation or at the same apartment or someone's contact number uh, but when we contacted them uh, the patient not able to uh, speak with doctors continuously like uh, that patient doesn't have a contact number for their own uh, to speak with let's say uh, they are giving a landline number for a for entire people at the home and when we are when we check uh, they are isolated in a separate room and uh, these people are not willing to uh, give the phone to them to get the clinical advice because doctors are going to call them on daily basis uh, sometimes so if they couldn't attend that that call that patient is not eligible for the system so in that case we have to reject uh, that patient and to inform uh, moh officer that we have this kind of errors uh, th this kind of issues so they have to take out from this system and they have to uh, deal with with the phi officers and all so those kind of uh, any other scenarios will be added uh, to this uh, this category uh, and it will be pop out for the uh, moh officers and the main thing uh, moh officers will uh, monitor specifically these two uh, scenarios like patient did not answer and uh, wrong contact number these two are they will monitor and they will correct it from their end and if they correct those details let's say for wrong contact number moh office after you putting this status it will be pop out for uh, under comes under a category, category uh, for the MOH officers interface that this much of wrong contact number details added uh, for the from their end. So under their local office, they can see uh, what are the wrong contact entries that they have given to the system and they can correct it. So after correcting that, it will be come again to the call center queue and we will reassigning again uh, to uh, adding those details. So the patient did not answer also same. Sometimes they will MOH officers uh, continuously contact them. And uh, after they got connected, they will direct to our uh, call center people again. Okay, so this is the uh, unsuccessful registration that we have. So uh, let, let's deal with uh, the patient registration part uh, before that. Okay, uh, there is a question asked, uh, do we need to ask questions one by one, which is in the patient status list for each and every patient? Now, actually, uh, the status thing has to be uh, rectified. Like uh, when I uh, do the patient registration part, I'll inform. And uh, uh, one more question that uh, they have asked, like uh, the patient waiting patient queue is uh, only visible to the agent we have assigned, uh, but uh, you can find those patients in the home care screen. When we talk to the patient, if they are giving details, you can find that patient uh, from the searching list. So if it is uh, allocated to a, another agent, it will be automatically cleared. Uh, one more question this is a good question that uh, there is a do we uh, speak to the patient directly, not another member in the house who can speak on behalf of them? Yes, actually, uh, we will 
we have to talk to the patient directly because we want we want to uh, we want to make sure that patient can uh, handle calls daily on daily basis when doctor is calling so in sometimes let's say the family member is talking and giving the details that's also fine we can add, uh, get those details and uh, register themselves but we have to make sure that patient uh, can uh, attend to the doctor's call on daily basis sometimes they will give uh, the neighbor house contact number but after that when we call those uh, neighbors contact number they are not willing to give their phone because uh, it is a uh, covid patient so in those kind of things we are unable to register them here we cannot allocate those patients uh, to doctors because when doctors dialing the first call they will dial and attend it but after that if they uh, got to know the contact number because this line with the uh, this call is goes as 1390 after that they are they they won't answer that so it's better to filter those de uh, details in the first call itself okay so now we will move uh, to how to do the patient registration so so this is the queue that you we i have uh, received now uh, so i'm going to start uh, here and uh, always start from the uh, first line because it is after we allocating patients it is uh, set on ascending order let's say uh, this patient age is 63 and uh, this patient is 54 so likewise it will be uh, we are giving preference for now uh, for older age people so uh, age people only we are doing first so it will be in the ascending order so first start with first uh, line okay so when you start dialing this patient this is the contact number that you're going to dial and after you click this patient you can see uh, this page so this is to find the existing family member so when it's talk about family member what you can do is uh, when after you connecting this call you have to ask that patient whether they are a, uh, already a patient registered with this system uh, and uh, doctor is daily calling uh, because currently there are uh, more numbers has been given in the media that uh, they are dealing this covid patient there are sometimes private private uh, hospitals also doing that so in that case you better to explain and ask whether there is a patient handling by uh, this 1390 system uh, under home care uh, based system registered with so if they say yes get that nic number and you have to type that nic number here and you you can click here find existing family these details not needed uh, the identity number find existing family if you click here it will be shows you uh, whether there is a patient available already registered with uh, these details let's say just to show an example i'll so here i copy this uh, this patient this is already a patient registered with this doctor so this is the doctor who is handling this so chamodi uh, so when i handle this patient let's say this patient saying that uh, uh, he has there is a uh, existing uh, home care patient at their home then you can enter that nic and find if you click find existing family you can see this patient has been already registered okay so in that case you have to connect this patient for the same doctor uh, because uh, we have we are planned like uh, it's only uh, one doctor handling the same family so in that case you can search by this and if you click add patient here you can see this is the registration page but the doctor you cannot change the doctor chamodi is here so you cannot change this doctor 
so after that you after you fill uh, enter all the details all the mandatory mandatory details if you serve this uh, create patient button this patient also allocated to uh, this doctor but here you have to note a point uh, if this doctor not in the roster for today uh, you have to uh, look for a different doctor if that patient having a different contact number you can allocate that patient for a different doctor but if this doctor is on the roster you can find it in the doctor duty tab as i show before the doctor duty tab here you can see whether this doctor is working there and you can allocate that patient to this doctor okay so that's how the same family uh, will work and if it is uh, not for same family let's say if it is a, a different family or a fresh patient then you have to just click here no existing family member so if you click here this page will be pop out for you so here that you now uh, you have to uh, get those details and register this patient so let's move uh, to this page so this is the page that we are going to register patients so first you can see there are uh, some fields given with uh, mandatory mark the red star is here those details are updated with uh, there are, there's a asterisk those are the mandatory fields you have to fill it anyway otherwise you cannot serve this page so the first case uh, first question you have to ask that uh, you you are explaining this uh, you are calling from moh office uh, call center and uh, to register this patient and we will allocate to this uh, doctor and the doctor will deal with you on daily basis for that we have to get this information so first you have you, you have to ask here the total home care patients let's say uh, when you call if it is a fresh uh, fresh uh, patient and they having uh, two positive uh, members at home they are not registered so in that case you have to you can uh, number it here one or two so basically you have to uh, uh, have a note this is for home care patient not about the positive patients this is total home care patients so in that case we we are to uh, uh, select like let's say there are two patients here if you put two here you have to add one more page by clicking here there's a plus sign here so this is basically for uh, patient one one patient registration so if you put two here you have to add one more to register that patient okay and if you uh, having that patient details when you enter the only the nic number and just put the nic number of that second patient and see if you click just uh, click out or click here in the name field it will shows like this so in that case this nic not uh, came or moh officer not still registered this patient to this home care system so in that case we cannot register this patient always the new patient entries has to come from the moh officer uh, so call center agent cannot uh, add new patients from our end so in that case you have to tell this patient's details are not received yet once we receive we will call back to register them okay so so that is the first question here so total home care patients and uh, this is just to get the information non covid family members let's say there are uh, five patient sorry five family members there only one got infected and registered with home care then uh, the non covid family members are four so this is the this is just for doctors information how many uh, non covid family members are there and this is the contact number that we have received with and now we have uh, called them contacted them uh, so other details are not mandatory here 
so this is the person's name and uh, the phi area it will be automatically normally selected the phi of is also not mandatory this will be removed and uh, the city you have to select so if it is in this patient list the moh of is already selected uh, this uh, city thing so we no need to uh, change that but just to clarify you can clarify these things just to clarify the address whether this address is correct and uh, you are uh, located in the evil east and uh, those are the things just to clarify and uh, you can select the language here uh, here you are asking uh, this whether this agent sorry this patient can uh, speak tamil or singular so this is just to uh, get the information to doctor whether this is this patient can handle uh, if they can speak both and or tamil or singular so you can select it here and uh, when you select this uh, fields the doctor's list also will be uh, changed let's say uh, for sing if you can select singular normally it will be shows only the single speaking doctors if you put uh, tamil this uh, patient list uh, so, sorry the doctor's list only shows you tamil doctors and uh, the doctors who can handle both languages so that's how uh, the system was designed and uh, under this doctors column you can see uh, there are few information given like doctor's name and their language preference and the contact number of that doctor and the number of assigned patients for that doctor so as of now we are assigning uh, patients who is uh, who is uh, available on the top because this uh, drop down list has been uh, given uh, on the ascending order from the uh, active patient count so here in dr fi firus having 26 patients and in the bottom you can see this dr ioma having 32 patients so always you have to allocate the patients uh, from the top itself so once you once i if i added uh, this patient to this doctor so this number will change for 27 and it will be that name will goes under all 26 so that's how we equally uh, segregate patients for distribute patients for these uh, all doctors okay and uh, you also can see how many patients like uh, uh, in the previous example i have shown you that uh, when we adding uh, family members for the same doctor you can come here by clicking one of the patient but make sure that you are selecting the same district and you can see the doctor's name here who is having less patients so you can add in that way also and we can't allocate more than uh, 35 for this doctor so what we planned was for pre-interns who are working call center agents your maximum level is to assign for a doctor is 30 uh, 30 and uh, for call center agents from our end we will having it at 32 uh, because uh, after we allocation these things time to time a uh, few doctors will leave this home care system due to maternity leave and uh, for other scenarios uh, they will quit uh, this job function so in that case we have to uh, reallocate those patients to any other doctors so for doctors we have given a count like 35 we are not uh, allocating more than 35 patients for them so to handle that we are sticking into this policy uh, for all the call center agents will handle up to 30 so because in previous experience we couldn't control that it was uh, went more than 35 so doctors uh, called and complain us so to avoid those things uh, what we are doing is we for, for pre-interns who are working 
as call center agents, you can allocate up to 30. Don't put patients more than 30. Okay, and after this, uh, here you can see there is a field called accompanied identity. So this is the thing for, uh, let's say, with this NIC number, the adult patient is here. Let's say this is a father or mother, and they are they having a child or a, a adult person who is below 18 years, and they don't have uh, below 16, and they don't have any NIC or reference details separately. What the uh, MOH officer will do is they will uh, give the same NIC number for their children, and uh, it has to be tick here accompanied identity like that so uh, let's say if i put two patients here and i'm going to give the same id number same id number in the sense like this 1958 the previous number here and i have to click this one the accompanied identity so both of them ha will have the same NIC number. So I can enter the name details of the child here. But this patient info also uh, has to be come from MOH office. If it is there, you can fill the second patient info as same as that. And after that, uh, here you can see the name. You can correct the name if you want, uh, because the MOH office, uh, if they have done any mistake, you can uh, amend that here. And the nationality, you, you can select foreigner or Sri Lankan. And the gender is there. You have to select male or female. And the age is here, 63. Uh, like, uh, actually, we can't allocate patients below two years and more than 65. They are not eligible for the home care system. They, they are, should be hospitalized. So up, you, we, we can update patients between two to 65 only. So that is here. And uh, so this is a COVID test, the PCR or antigen test that you have taken. And uh, the COVID results positive, that is the only feed that we have given here. And you can reconfirm the date, the test date. So if it is, if these details are not filled by the MOH officer, you have to fill this. So in this example, the, all the details has been filled by that MOH officer. So you will have to just to reconfirm. So here you can select the date, the PCR date here. Uh, but it is, it is restricted only for 14 days. It means you, you, we can allocate within 14 days uh, patients only. Uh, so in that case, today is... Uh, 4th of September, for example, from 4th of September, 14 days backwards, you can count the days. Let's say from 22nd, only we can do the registration. So if, if it is 14 days calculation from 22nd is starting. So if this patient uh, taken his uh, PCR or antigen test before 22nd, like uh, 20th or 15th, then you have to reject this uh, registration, you have to update that status. Uh, the test taken was more, uh, more than 14 days as I shown before. So, and the next is, this is a not mand uh, mandatory field, but better you, uh, you can have the additional phone number because sometimes this phone number is uh, switched off or belongs to any other person. Uh, we need a contact number to contact this uh, patient from call center side or else by the doctor. So the additional phone number better to uh, get an update under this field. So this blood group, uh, those details, the weight, height, and the BMI, these details are not mandatory, but uh, if we have time, we, we can do it. But when we uh, uh, clearing this uh, backlog, backlog part, uh, we, we didn't uh, update those details. Uh, doctors are doing that. And uh, this is the nearest hospital also already selected by this MOH officer. So the technical hospital Colombo. So here you can have the list. So this will be filtered out by uh, the district here and the MOH area. Uh, with this, you can see 
uh, what are the hospitals near uh, nearest hospital that this patient has so you can select any doctor uh, any hospital nearest to them uh, which is convenient to them so that's the thing so after we click this create patient part you can uh, there is a pop out come that is uh, this is registered i'm not showing that here because i'm uh, this is on the live mode so if we contacted this patient and fill those all information and uh, once we create click the create patient thing this patient will moved from your queue from here this will be removed and it will be goes to the home care patient so under home care patient so new home care patient list on the top your uh, registered patient will be there so that doctor will call directly from his outbound line and assess this patient so that is the uh, that is the main part in uh, patient registration so if you have any questions uh, up to now yes there are few questions uh, in the chat box uh, let me see So there is a question uh, asked by, yes, if it is a wrong contact number and the person is not a COVID patient or number does not exist, what do we, what do we put uh, in the info? Uh, so this is the thing. Um, if it is a wrong contact number, then in the info that you have to mention uh, the person name who uh, you have dialed with just for uh, MOH clarification. Uh, so they will uh, call that contact number to clarify again and they will correct it again. So after that, that patient will be uh, again queued uh, to the call center side. So we can reassign those patients uh, to agents to call and deal with the correct patient for registration. Yes, uh, one, uh, they have requested a clarification in the, uh, to repeat adding family members thing. So when it's come to family uh, members allocation, uh, there are two things uh, that we have to follow. Uh, let's say you, you have got uh, around five or five to six family members and you have all the details of them and uh, you are going to register uh, at once don't put uh, more than three patients uh, to to the same doctor at once it means when we allocating at once you cannot uh, uh, add three patients together so you have to divide let's say for example there are five patients uh, in the family so you can put first three to one doctor and the and the other two patients for the uh, other doctor so this is who has more than uh, three patients at the family and when registering at the same time so for the second uh, scenario is let's say we have five patients at the family and uh, two was already registered and we are getting the other three later on your call then you can add those three also to the same doctor so that doctor going to handle all the five patients because it is not allocated at the same time so if you are allocating at the same time it's not more than three but in any different time if you are adding you can uh, 
add uh, to those uh, patient to that doctor and the third thing when we adding uh, family members to doctors we have to check whether that family member having a different contact number uh, if different contact number available you can allocate that uh, patient uh, for the doctor who is currently uh, working on roster because let's say that uh, doctor is on leave or else that doctor is on reserved and not uh, uh, not going to come for the shift uh, more than one one and a half days so when we allocating that uh, to that doctor it's uh, that patient not going to see him. so first we have to check whether that family member having a different contact number if that uh, doctor is not on duty so if that uh, family member having a different contact number you can allocate that patient for any other doctors uh, in some cases we have experience like uh, the patients all are handling uh, the same contact number only one person have a uh, phone number to handle all the patients so in that case the system will not allow you uh, to allocate those patients it means uh, different uh, contact uh, the same contact number cannot be divided for two doctors so in that case we we have a chance like we have to call that doctor who is on leave or reserved uh, you, we have to call that doctor and inform due to this same number issue we are unable to update uh, this patient to any other doctors so therefore uh, we are allocating this to you uh, can you see it so like that you have to inform that doctor so this is only uh, come when uh, when that patient that family members doesn't have any other contact number given because system is not allowed to register uh, with the same contact number to any other doctors so there is one more question like uh, if the patient have symptoms but not done any pcr or antigen test we can't register right uh, because this home care based system designed like the initial entry the initial entry or registration come through a moh officer the local moh office because they are the one uh, doing the initial part uh, call center agent cannot create a profile we are just uh, getting the details from moh the initial uh, details after that we complete the registration part uh with incomplete uh, sorry incomplete uh, fields and uh, if it is already few details are uh, updated by moh officer we are just reconfirming it if they are not update, updated those details we have to uh, update those details and uh, confirming with that uh, registration part and allocating those patients to doctors so we cannot create new profiles from our end then we have to tell those patients if they have symptoms and not registered and if not done the pcr it is uh, not relevant to us we are unable to update them they have to contact the local moh and all Uh, so there is one more question when we call the patients will they be uh, able to know our number or is it through any system calls uh, we will uh, provide a contact number like uh, we will uh, the dialog uh, will provide you a, a broadsoft system which you have to dial uh, a number and the password is given to you if you dialing through that system uh your cli number will shows to them like 1390 so your mobile number or personal contact number will not be visible to them so when they call back the patients who are calling back it will be directly uh, hit to our uh, call center inbound line it will be connected to the uh, colombo call center Uh, yes and uh, the all home care patients uh, should have positive pcr or antigen uh, 
uh, without that we cannot register uh, or allocate it non positive or non pcr uh, not taken any pcr or antigen test are not eligible for this system what if i uh, there is one more question what if i get a patient who cannot speak singhala uh, so in that case uh, we will uh, assign one of the call center agent to uh, communicate with you uh, i think uh, dr susit will create a group for yourself also so in that uh, one of the call center agent will be there for any issues and communication thing so if you uh, give the details to her uh, she will share with our call center people and we can assign a tamil agent to assign that coordination can be done so we can uh, deal with that with that so in the age wise uh, yes uh, 2 and 65 it means uh, uh, the age below 2 is cannot acceptable 2 uh, plus like 2 uh, years and 3 months 2 years and 6 months can be updated in the system but the age uh, has to be put as 3 and uh, 65 yes 65 you can uh, more than 65 it's restricted like more than 66 67 you cannot uh, add to the system they are all to uh, have to hospitalize so that moh officer need to be informed on that so uh, if a patient did not answer at that time you no need to inform uh, like uh, try twice and it would be in your follow up list and you can try after finishing your queued patients you better actually the main purpose of this uh, call center thing is not to clear the queue uh, the added by patients we are uh, we have to uh, done the successful patients uh, registering with doctors so somehow we have to try to cater the medical assistant for these pcr sorry uh, the positive patients uh, so in that case you better uh try these patients when we get a uh, little time and uh, actually we can clear it those who are not uh, answering in the morning they sometimes an will answer the phones by evening so in that cases we can register them but uh, you no need to uh, call and inform the moh officer for did not answer thing because the wrong contact number and the patient did not answer comments once we updated it will be uh, pop out for the uh, the same dashboard they also having the same dash dashboard uh, as uh, uh, in their system it will shows how many wrong contacts and how many patient did not answer currently have in the system which is entered by moh officers so they will sometime they will contact them and correct those details and uh, they will put it to again so there is one more question uh, do you click on accompanied id on both the patients when uh, adding child uh, in that case no only the the initial uh, person we are not uh, no need to click that accompanied id uh, the second second entry has to be uh, click the id like in the in the sense when we uh, uh, when the adult registered and their child come as a second patient uh, we are we have to tick only for child the accompanied id details only for child if the patient wants to change the contact number what we should do you can uh, do the changes uh, the contact number can uh, uh, amended by agents so if it is if you are facing any details uh, in updating already give, in the already given details you can uh, share those details with our coordinator the call center coordinator and also i will uh, give you a contact number after this session so uh, you can directly inform us uh, we will able to uh, clear those issues
so the uneligible criteria that uh, those are the things which i have uh, given to you so the main thing is the age preference that we are looking for 2 to 65 and the second one is uh, they should uh, able to communicate with doctors on daily basis uh, with with any contact number so if it is a positive patient if it uh, if if they have taken the pcr or antigen test and it is positive and uh, they are within the age limit between 2 to 65 and they are also eligible uh, to contact with the uh, doctor on daily basis through uh, any communication number then they are eligible for this home care system Uh, regarding the maximum allocation of uh, doctors, uh, the patients, if 30 is the maximum, we are saying that 30 in the sense uh, to avoid to go more than 35. Like uh, currently now, uh, as per Dr. Ayanthi, there are 200 pre interns going to uh, join us uh, to do this part, the call center agent part. And uh, the call center also, we are differently uh, located and everyone is uh, handling these patients from different locations so we are unable to communicate uh, then and there because sometimes all will select one uh, doctor out of 200 call center agents uh, there are uh, at least 50 agents will select uh, who come with uh, this number of 30 so to avoid that only we will ask you to stop by 30 so better to stop with uh, 30 patient 30 patients per doctor and the same times you will get uh, below numbers doctors because they also are doing the discharge thing only daily in one in one part we are adding patients after this finishing that 14 days so uh, 10 days uh, isolation part uh, those doctors will discharge those patients so they will have less numbers of active patients so uh, you can add to those uh, patients for those doctors uh, how many patients will be allocated for us to update per day uh, it depends uh, we will start with a few numbers and uh, uh, normally what we have practiced uh, before uh, the pre interns will ask that uh, agent after normally we will put 10 20 30 like that uh, once they finish their queue, they will uh, drop, have to drop a message to that uh, call center agent uh, to put more patients. So that's how we work. We will work work on it. Uh, after we get in the roster, we able to uh, equally share the patients. Uh, if there are five family members in the queue but they are using the same contact number so how to select the doctor yes in that case uh, you can you can uh, ask you have to call that uh, doctor because that is apart from the process so if you call and inform that doctor and if doctor said okay you can allocate it's fine How do we mark a patient who can't speak singular on the system? So for, for that only we have this uh, language preference thing. So if, uh, if this patient uh, cannot speak singular, sorry, uh, can't speak singular, you can select this Tamil. So this language preference is uh, for the patient. So as per that only, the doctors will be uh, dropped down here. So this is not to select the doctors. This is about the patient, who, uh, what, what is the language that patient can speak. Yes, minimum number of family members, three in the sense, it is uh, when we allocating 
add together so if it is more than uh, three then we we can call that doctor and ask whether it is okay to allocate because uh, due to one same contact number so normally the doctors won't reject but for as as per the process that we are following because doctors have complained because we have received around uh, there is a muslim family they they have nine family members in that family so we cannot add all nine families together for that doctor so so those kind to avoid those kind of uh, scenarios only we have uh, fixed up to three but in that case uh, no don't have any different contact number that definitely we have to add uh, for one doctor so we have to uh, call that doctor and ask whether it is okay Are we sorted to specific area or the uh, patients are from all over the country? Uh, it depends. All over the country uh, that we will receiving MOH uh, entries. So we will serve uh, from uh, first come first serve basis. So yesterday we have handled, uh, except the Western countries, other uh, Western, uh, uh, Western province, other districts have appointed uh, to uh, pre intern So it depends. It will be changed time to time. Yes, uh, as a call center part, you are not doing the uh, assessing assessment or anything. Uh, as a call center agent, when you are work as a call center agent, you are doing only the registering part and assigning to doctors. Uh, for login creation issues and uh, those things, you can uh, contact support uh, uh, WaveNet team. Uh, you will get uh, that those details by your monitor itself. And uh, all the ID activation, deactivation also uh, communicated by them. Uh, the queue will be latest patients come on. Uh, come on top only but it will be uh, as it will be uh, put in the ascending order by the age we are giving preference for age people uh, and uh, there are specific time like in the sense um, uh, for Western province, the doctors will shift at, uh, shift is going as the roster is going at 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So when we are registering Colombo, Kalutara and Gampaha, you can do the registration from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. For except Western province, all other districts uh, will be uh, handled by pre interns uh, Their roster currently is 8 to 5. That is, that's what we currently uh, following, 8 to 5 is the registration part for uh, other districts so it might be changed in future for but currently this is the time uh, when you uh, deal uh, come across with any uh, uh, language issues you can direct them to our call center coordinator then uh, we can handle it from our end Uh, you can uh, get the doctor's uh, contact number in the system in the drop down list and also on the on duty page doctor duty duty only page